Now, man, I have got to I've got to talk about this. This has been happening all week. And I, I have reviewed a few things. Okay. I have reviewed a few things on this. One, 2022 is not Morphologist's year, I feel like. He's just having a very rough time with 2022. And I don't think much progress is going to happen in Morphologist's channel. I don't think any development will happen on Morphologist's channel this year. I think 2022 is not Morphologist's year. Uh, but as a content creator, I understand, man, you gotta, you, you, it, it's hard to deal with this shit. You know, like it's not easy. Like for instance, here's something that happened to me while I looked at the fleet viewer <laughs> from star jump, <laughs> the new fleet viewer, and I was checking it out. Okay. And then hangry Sarah made a meme out of me. So, uh, you know, as a content creator, you do have to deal with these times, uh, in your life where you become a meme and here's the meme, you know, here's a meme of me talking about the, uh, <laughs> Star jumps to fleet viewer. So let's check it out. Hangry Sarah. Check this out. Look, 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 look. Boom, boom. Yeah, let's look. Look, look, look at, at that. that. Look, Would you look at look that? At this. Look, look, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> she did a great job. You have to laugh at yourself. You have to be humble. You have to understand that you're putting yourself out there. And yes, I did say, Would you look at that? <laughs> I said that a lot. And it was disturbing. And uh, it, it was an eye-opener. Uh, but it was very funny. And Sarah is an awesome person. So, you know, it's great. She's a female equivalent of the DG. She's literally my my sister. She's like my twin sister. But anyway, I wanted to dive in <laughs> to the, this morphologist drama. Like, I... I <laughs> And I don't know much of what's going on because I had to literally not get delve too deep into this, but so many DMs on this. I can't tell you in the, in the span of my career, my YouTube career and streaming career, this <laughs> is one of those events where like people were messaging me back and forth like, hey, DG, did you check out Morphologist's ran on the A2? Did you... And, and I'm like, I, I'm going to do it. So now we are going to do it. First, I want to go through uh, some content here from other content creators and get a, an idea of what they think about what he said about the A2, which we're going to learn about here. Uh, first, Greasy Khaleesi is up, um, and let's see what he has to say here. It is entitled, Morphologist is Mad. <laughs> Shit. Nerf the A2. Drama alert. Saltologist. Here he comes. At this point, because I'm a centurion, I have no idea it's an A2. Now I know it's an A2. People have alerted me that it's an A2. He's coming in. We got our guys on the ground. Everyone's trying to shoot him. He's coming at pretty much full speed. First off, if people are alerting him that it's an A2, where where's the support at? Where are the escorts at to blow this up before it suicide bombs everything, right? I love how he's calling it out play by play here. <laughs> it's wonderful. Point blank drops the bomb and suicide runs. All right, if you didn't catch that, don't worry, it's gonna play again. Here it comes again. Same clip. All right, so here's the thing. The A2 is not fun. Is he playing? <laughs> Greasy Khaleesi's playing Crimea River in the background. This bomb. This will probably shit get muted. Is not fun. I don't care what people are saying on Twitter about all these stupid ass counters that they think work. Why wouldn't he care about that? Like counters, legitimate counters to the A2? Isn't that strategic? Isn't that tactical? Isn't that part of the gameplay though? Like um, why wouldn't you care about that? That's kind of like the game, man. That's kind of that's kind of like the game though. When this can happen, there's no counter to it. All you got to do is That's that's false. That's false. That's that's not true. That's not true. Like uh let me just uh, listen. That's that's not true. <laughs> like, you know, this is the thing that gets me upset. You know, I know he's got a big following. I know he makes great videos, you know. Listen. If I'm in any game, I look at the surroundings that I'm at, right? I say, where am I at? And why does it matter, right? Am I in a dangerous area? Uh, is jump down next to a pirate base in an un unlawful area in Stanton, you know? I, I am standing on ground that's maybe not safe, right? 
beware there be dragons here. You know, should we want every pixel labeled in the verse? Like, this is a safe spot, right? Or do we want to be smart enough to kind of figure out where we're at, right? <laughs> this isn't that hard to defend against if you have the right group of people. And I think that's where the minds, I think that the mindset for, for morphologists is that he's like a PVE mindset and that's okay. That's cool. But like also realize where you're at morphologists, you know, I mean, like if you're going to decide to go to jump town, then bring some friends or this shit can happen and have some air support, have an escort, uh, have an escort of flying around up top. You know, making sure that the airspace is safe. Uh, you know, have them flying in space. Have them flying in the air. Get that shit taken care of. I mean, I, I was checking out this clip from, um, who is this? Zero State. And here's how Zero State deals with this shit. Here, hold on a second. <laughs> this guy looks like it'll be easy to get his bomb. Yep. Okay. Bomb drops out of the A2. Bomb blows up A2. He dropped it. There, that's how, that's how you, I mean, that didn't look that hard, did it? That's because that's experience, right? That's a, that's an experienced pilot. And that is really how to go about defending that type of thing. So what he's saying there isn't true. It might be true to him. It might be true to morphologists and his style of gameplay, but it is not true. In fact, we just saw that it's not true. <laughs> we saw Zero State easily take down an A2, easily. Like, he didn't break a sweat. It was one pilot. Just one. It wasn't even a squad. And there was no escort. <clears throat> it was one pilot that was circling the area. Right? So, you know, what Morph just said there is not true. Flying at full speed, and because of how much health the A2 has, there's no way you're going to kill it. You what? have to be in front of it with a torpedo and hope to God your fucking torpedo hits. Not to mention that you have to make sure... Look, space is fucking huge. Space is fucking huge. What does that matter? Space is fucking huge. What? Planets are fucking huge. Excuse my language, but I want to be clear about this. They can come from any direction, and you only have maybe a couple, a handful of eclipses. What's the chance you're going to be looking the right direction and be in front of the A2 before it does this. Warning, incoming salad vibes. I think he just needs, like, no offense, man. No offense, but, like, maybe you just, like, play a bit more or learn, learn that aspect of play. That, see, this is what I think. This is not his style of play. I think he's more of a PvE -er. and again, like I said, that's fine. Like a lot of times I just want to mindlessly mission or walk around, do some NPC bullshit. I mean, everybody has times like that where they want to relax and chill, but like if you're coming at this from the mindset of a PvE -er and a player who's not really accustomed to combat, right? And then you feel like your opinion's so strong because Frankly, when I, I don't think of morphologists as a PvP or somebody that, that understands this aspect of the gameplay, right? So, like, when, when he's just adamantly charged up about this and saying, oh, no, 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 it's like, it's a, it's a giant disconnect for me. I'm like, what? It's just unreasonable to expect that you're going to stop an A2 that does this because you can't. Yes, Those yes, you can. Those people are dumb. <laughs> wow. Those people are dumb. What? Wow. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. They are dumb because they don't know that this can happen. Even though I've been, tr I, I said very clearly in my post, look, you can suicide bomb with the A2 and there's nothing you can do about it. And they just completely ignored that comment. I don't know. It seems a little pretentious to me. <laughs> like, it, like this just seems a little pretentious to me. If someone wants to ruin your day, this is what they got to do. There, this, this is the I win button right now. There's nothing you can do to stop this. Unless you have like a fleet of 20 people and they're all in eclipses and God forbid somebody brings fighters and kills you all. <laughs> this is going to happen. <laughs> you cannot stop this from happening 
All right, you can fill the fucking server. Yeah, maybe that's the only way. So there are no more slots for somebody to do this. But maybe, I think that's the only way. You just fill, you get 120 people in your party and you get into a server and then- No, 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 here, I- <laughs> My head's starting to hurt. <laughs> my my head is literally starting to hurt right now. A really good game design always cleverly and subtly uh, designates areas that are safe and unsafe, right? I mean, like, most games that I enjoy have a clear way of defining, like, safe and unsafe. Uh, EVE Online is a really good example. Like, sex status, you go to different uh, systems and it's got a different status from 1.0 all the way down to 0.0. .0. All the way down uh, to null, to null sec. And, like, that's a wonderful way in which to kind of dictate, okay, safe, super safe, safe, medium safe, not very safe, holy shit, uh, put on your big boy pants, right? <laughs> like, like, so, like, you know, game design will always have that inserted into it. And, and I like it even more subtle than that. Like, I actually like it even more subtle. That's my preference in game design. Like, you know, EVE Online did it really, like, in your face. But I like it when you have to investigate and look into the systems. Maybe use the arc map, read a little information on the system before you jump blindly through it. You know what I mean? I get it. There's only one system. Thank you so much for that that donation. Thank you so much, Dark Spike. I appreciate you, bro. That was super nice. Thank you, man. But, like, this, this, this danger needs to be kept in the game, man. Like, this danger is the reason why people do come back to the title, right? It's not as – it's it, <laughs> it's not an I win button, okay? And also, you have to realize your environment, like, where you're at. Where are you at? You're in a dangerous spot. You are in a dangerous spot. If you're choosing to go to Jump Town, realize you could blow up from a bomb at any given moment in time. And if you do not want to blow up with the bomb, you put on your big boy pants, you invite some friends, and you get a little crazy. <laughs> and, you, and you make sure. You make sure you got a squad patrol in the air. All you need is one zero state. <laughs> right, right. Thank you. Thank you, Anarchy. I mean, we just saw it. Dance off, bro. Homeboy found a wonderful way of taking out that. He waited till the bomb dropped out, shot the bomb, and the bomb damaged poof, in the air, buffer between what's down below. Everything got taken care of from above. That's beautiful. Now, like, maybe if the bomb doesn't drop and the guy is coming down straight kamikaze mode, you're going to need a hell of a lot more, like Morph is saying, right? But then have that. Then have that. Like that, because you are in a, you're in a, not, you're not in a safe area, right? It's there's only one system, but we all know, Jump Town isn't really safe. Like we all get it, we all get that. <laughs> like we all get it, right? I do. No, it'll never happen, right? You can just keep milking the, the, and that's really fun too, right? Wow, is he gonna? What is, is he? Was he? Wow. Was he going to stomp his foot right there? <laughs> what was going on right Ugh. there? Look, CIG have not got to fix this problem. I have no desire, no desire at all to play Star Citizen right now for the Jump Town event because of this. Every single time I play, this is how the event ends. It doesn't matter that the person is suiciding because their objective is just Every time this happens to me when I'm streaming, every time, like, like that is so entitled. Like, this just sounds really entitled right now. Like, I can't believe this, actually. Like, I'm not trying to rip on Morph at all. Like, Morph actually did something really cool. He stood up for our friend, the Eradicator. Uh, he exposed Star Atlas uh, and what they did and copyright striked our friend, uh, the Eradicator. And I thought that was a really cool stand-up thing to do by Morphologist. But, like, when I see this, like, really what I see is kind of what everybody else, I think, sees. And that's just, like, entitled pretentious like he thinks that his style of gameplay is the only style and you know it's not much different from what i see sometimes from frontier development uh or from um elite dangerous or should i call it elite no dangerous <laughs> um uh, the the voice that i'm hearing from morphologist right now is exactly the same voice i heard over and over again in elite dangerous and why it turned into a fucking train wreck and why Odyssey is such a big ball of trash, hot steaming garbage, and why all the people from Elite Dangerous are coming over in droves to Star Citizen. Can I get an amen? Yes, sir. Can I get an amen? Yes. 
I mean, this could be policed by us, the players. It's not hard to do, right? It's actually enjoyable. Some of us actually like to do this. In fact, a lot of us like to do this in Star Citizen, right? Plan things out strategically. Make sure the air safe or make sure the airspace is safe. Those types of things. Okay, you got an A2 suicide bomber. Great. I got some tallies, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's figure shit out. Let's 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 get this started. Could you imagine like if you didn't have this t style of gameplay? Some people love the strategics about this. Ask any FC and EVE Online, man. This is the juice for them. This is why they keep coming back and playing, you know? This is exactly what I'm looking for in game design. I want this shit. When I see this shit, I want it. Like, you know, and, and that's, I think, why we're seeing, like, this disconnect. And it's okay because I realize that, that like, it feels as if the majority of the players <clears throat> voice up for the same style of gameplay and I feel like it's a cancer on game gaming. I, I feel like it's a cancer on the gaming industry personally to continually want like spoon fed content that's not dangerous and to just police everything. Just like take all of this chaos out. Take that chaos out. I don't want that chaos, right? And that voice seems to be so loud and it makes me feel like that voice is the majority. It would explain why Morphologist has 200,000 plus subscribers and I have 15. So perhaps I'm in the wrong. Perhaps I'm the person that's in the wrong here saying that I like this type of stuff. I don't know. It just makes me feel kind of strange to hear this in this manner because it, it does sound like a tantrum of sorts you know it sounds like a, a kid who's having a tantrum when he's when he talks about it you know i mean don't get i rant i rant like a motherfucker right i uh, so uh, you know i i'm guilty of shit too to troll <laughs> look at greasy putting they his just want to troll And here's the other thing, right? Not everybody, we, you can't just stick everybody in eclipses. It's not feasible. You, you need to have a balance of fighters. You need to have people on the ground. You need to have people, you know, cooking the cooking the stuff and getting it out in, into the transport ships and those ships have to go out and sell stuff. You need a lot of people and not everybody is going to be doing the eclipse. Yeah, I know you do. And in and, and dangerous spots, yes, you do need that. You know, like if you want it, if you, if you don't want that, go to a, a safe area right now, you know? Clips. And besides, there's plenty of space in Stanton. There's actually a lot of space to like chill out and do your own thing. Like, I, I, I think it's kind of crazy to expect any other experience going to jump town like this is the experience i expect like jump town this is in my brain you know like anytime i think of jump town i'm like yeah like I, that's jump town like you know what i'm saying I, I there's plenty of other places that are just very chill you know like have a really nice uh, vibe to it similar to this you know like you if you want this Right. If you want that, there's a lot of that. You can find that. You go find that. <laughs> you go find that. It's out there. It's it's really out there. It's everywhere you go. And there's like concentrated pockets like these. So if you're going to these pockets, expect this type of game. This is it's it's where the danger lives. I don't know what like it's like they've never been. I don't get how he doesn't get that. Like it, like that's I think the thing that boggles my mind that like. I don't know how long he's been covering Star Citizen for, but I think the thing that boggles my mind the most is that he's not aware of that. Or, or like, is he blind to it because he's just so angry? And in combat before, but when you're in a hectic jump town, especially now that the servers have like 100 people in them, there's always a fight going on. And because of Star Citizen's terrible UI system, there's no way for you to immediately know that the new pip that just popped in out of the 20 other people who are there fighting in the sky and fighters is an A2. There's no way for you to know that. You have to be cycling through all the targets. And you can't expect people to do that when they're already engaged in a big fight, which is exactly what's been happening every time I play. There's always big fights, and that's great. And that's what, <laughs> what I love about Jump Town. It gets the fights together. Everybody, you know, uh, comes to it and, 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 and we're having fights on the ground, fights in the air, and it's great. But then it's so easy for one of these fuckers to slip in. Fingers. 
and suicide bomb like this. It's just in the mess, in, in the fog of war. Like, I couldn't imagine the game Morphologist has pictured in his head. Like, it scares me. <laughs> like, it scares me, man. I feel like this is the game in Morphologist's head. <laughs> right? Like... <laughs> yeah, stop. Get out of here, man. Stop. Yeah. I, I don't know I don't know what game he's picturing, but I want danger in my game. It's why I left Elite Dangerous, because it was Elite No Dangerous. It was ED. It was erectile dysfunction. It was bad. And I had to leave. And and Star Citizen grabbed me. And this was like four or five years ago. At least six, seven. I, I mean, where, where are we at now? I started in 2015. Yeah, I mean, like, I've been around a long time, man. And I love what I'm seeing. And I... I personally don't want anything nerfed. If anything, like, listen, if you if you do this, like, old school style and you have Camerol, who's a really cool content creator and does a lot of testing on ships, if you have Camerol test how much damage the A2 can take and it takes an extraordinarily amount of long time with multiple ships dishing out huge amounts of DPS, right, and this thing does not blow up, okay, Okay, let's talk about nerfing it, right? If that's the case, let me see the numbers. Let's look at the testing. Let's see if it truly does need nerf. But just to go off it based off solely this as evidence is really noob in my opinion. Like that's about the noobest thing I've ever seen. It's 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 pretty crazy. Or in the mess of it, you can't you can't be expected to pay attention for somebody to do this. He's mad. He's just mad. And here's the thing mad. about this, He's right? Just mad. It's okay. This is I I cannot imagine that this is intended gameplay by CIG. Suicide bombing, the act of suiciding, ramming your ship into the ground with the bomb is counter to a death of a spaceman. How? So it's not even really intentional gameplay by the way that they've designed the game. Death of a Spaceman isn't in the game yet, which is why it's happening. Like, you know, so when Death of the Spaceman actually, you know, gets put in the way it's meant to, where the persist, it's put in in, th in terms of the game, like the, the very soft core gaming medical gameplay where you wake up in the hospital and the whole thing and you get your clone and the respawn and everything. You lose some of your armor and shit, but then a wipe comes along and everything. You know, it's not really going to be impacted until the game is quote unquote finished. <laughs> it's the it, like death of a spaceman. The consequences aren't really felt that hard yet. They're felt a little bit like a feather tickling you. You know what I mean? Like death of a spaceman will eventually be, a, will, will evolve from a feather tickling you to a sledgehammer smashing you in the face, smashing you in the face. Now, when death of a spaceman is implemented in that way, and it has evolved into that, then decisions become very important. And yes, you probably will see a hell of a lot of less of that, right? <laughs> so Did the pilot I, try I, to I pull up? I don't understand how people can sit there and have an argument. <laughs> Ash, I think you're right, bro. Hold on a second. I got to rewind this. Dude, the guy probably just fell asleep or stopped paying attention or, or, or somebody caught him in the room that he was in and he looked around and like, watch him come in. They've designed the game. Watch him come in. <laughs> so I, I, I don't understand. Look, he's coming in. There. It doesn't look like he's even trying to fly. It doesn't look like he's flying fast to me. Number one, it doesn't look like he's coming in that fast. You know, it's an A2, right? And so, like, he, he's coming in at an angle, and it looks like he just kind of wanted to land there. And then, like, he got back to his computer and went, oh, shit. <laughs> and have an argument. <sighs> it does kind of look like that a little bit. I don't know. Who knows? But I think that's funny. He didn't even have to suicide. We got so much more right. to watch, if by the way. Coming at the right angle, we got so much he, more to watch. He, he could have avoided hitting the ground, but look, look, like, look at how close he is to the ground there. You literally, even if you shot the bomb, <laughs> as a <it came, laughs> he's like, here's this dude. 
he's got the double, he's got the double, he's got the whole toss set up, right? He's like, look, he's looking around and his wife's like, honey, you left the toilet seat up again. Or, <laughs> what, honey? What? Come here. You left the toilet seat up again. Oh, God damn it. And he like, he gets out and he like looks at the ship. He goes, oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. My wife's always doing this shit. Came out of the bottom. It would still kill everybody because they explode when you shoot them. <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid. So, look. That's CIG, ridiculous. This is ridiculous. If you're watching, I hope you are. Nerf this stupid ship. See that? That's crazy. That's 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 crazy. That's fucking crazy. He has the right to say whatever he wants to say, right? I mean, that's his own opinion. Okay, you know, he has the right to say whatever the fuck he wants to, you know, good freedom of speech and all that shit. But, like, listen, I think that's very uninformed, and that could be kind of dangerous in a way, you know, because, like, I don't know, but, like, I know that a lot of people uh, at Cloud Imperium do listen to morphologists, and that kind of scares me a little bit, you know? You know? It's like, I'm not quite sure exactly what, morphologist knows about game development i know he knows a lot about architecture which is cool uh but <laughs> get a bit get a rid bit of size field, right? bombs if you're if, if there's no time to fix it because this is not fun this is not fun gameplay this is this is annoying and yet he streams it. Right? And it ruins every single stream I do playing Jump Town. And I'm sick of it. Oh, it ruins his stream. Watch out, everybody. It ruins his stream. See, that's 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 the fucking garbage I don't like. You know, that's that's kind of where I just say enough, man. Because, like... Uh, that is really pretentious. That is really, really narcissistic. That is that that is really like he he's just coming from an emotional spot, you know. <sighs> he's just coming from a very emotional spot right now. He's he's wrapped up too much in the content and not the fun. He's he's wrapped up in too much of the views and he's wrapped up in too much of the game, you know. Like not not the Star Citizen game, the YouTube game or the viewer game. He's he's wrapped too much into that if he's saying shit like that. And he needs to take a break. He needs to take a breath. He needs to have fun. You know, like that 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 to anybody right there was fucking hilarious. I mean, like watching that shit, if that didn't make you laugh, then I would just reevaluate your entire existence on this planet. <laughs> like really. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta you gotta be a little bit lighter you gotta take a breath and and sometimes it gets heavy like that i think i've been in modes like that before i mean like we're all human you know we're all human but i'm Jesus. absolutely sick of it oh i don't know if i i can't i don't think i can watch any more of this like really it's making me sick to my and stomach i'm not the only person who is it's not just that I'm streaming and this happens more frequently. And he's right. He isn't the only person who's upset about that. There's plenty of other people that are upset about that. And uh, that's called Elite Dangerous. <laughs> I don't want the danger to leave this game. And, and when Morphologist says these types of things and takes carte blanche control over what the narrative and what, you know, he thinks is the important thing, it's it's not, it's it's a little bit scary <clears throat> it really is a little bit scary to me because i know that cloud imperium does listen to morphologists and it's like no man like the whole point of this game is to keep that danger in and keep the player to player interaction in you know what's up seth i i just want when i see stuff like this it just makes me laugh or smile you know I just see the need for an armed escort making the airways above safe, you know, and, and that's the kind of safe I want in my dangerous zone. That's the kind of safe I want in my dangerous zone. I don't think that's asking for too much. I don't think by me saying that, that I'm dumb. I, I think that's pretty offensive actually to, to basically make your opinion more important than a lot of other people's uh, opinions and say that if you disagree with me, 
you are dumb. <laughs> like, wow. Like, wow. We were talking. We were talking with the Eradicator. We're gonna. Uh, we're got, we got Erad's uh, point of view on this after this. Because Let's just get it. through this and get to. It E-Rad's. happens when there's big groups of people who are trying to work together, <laughs> and one guy's pissed off. How you doing, buddy? Because he didn't get the Congo line, and he has an A2, and he comes and does this, and ruins everybody's fun. <laughs> right, Damon. I think one of the. One of the big questions you got. I think have we got a new winner, Damon. When you're when you're designing a game, is is it fun? This is not fun. I <laughs> like the A two is a bomber, and you are crying about it bombing you, <laughs> greasy, greasy. So opposing team, oh, so you have time to ram that. You have time to set that in up. All right. With, he's traveling at top speed with a nearly frictionless environment. You're telling me you're going to have time to respond. All right, you try that, Mac-10. Tell me how it works out. Record it. Show me that you have time for somebody doing this to ram them. That's a BS answer, man. In your mind, yes. In a perfect world, yes. If you knew that he was coming and you were set up to ram him in the correct direction and you were able to hit him wow. with P-Sync, fine. Like, yeah, sure. What is going Maybe. on here? But that is not a realistic... Dude, does he have something going on in his personal life, man? Maybe it's just... I don't know, dude. Like, it just makes me feel like... I, I don't know why he's getting this fucking upset. It's, it's insane. Counter to this. There is no counter to this. I don't look. No, listen, independent. My point is, it's not fun. When one person can come into a battle and ruin the fun for everybody else, it's bullshit, and they gotta get rid of it. He's 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 his in his tone, you know how he's speaking, and and like it's just <laughs> it's scary, man. It's scary, and they gotta get rid of it. Wow. It's not fun gameplay, <laughs> period, end of sentence, end of argument. Tell me what about this? That's a really good analogy here we've got from Fee, who Fee says this. Commander Fee says, remember how much it sucked when someone pooped in your pool? That's what he's complaining about, right? <laughs> 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 Listen, I compare jump down to a public pool and you know, if a poop shows up in the pool, that's the risk I took. I made the decision to go into a public pool, there might be poop in the pool, right? If, if I don't want poop in the pool, then I buy my own pool and I play by myself. I swim around by myself, right? In my own pool that I bought. Okay? Again, that's called elite dangerous. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Pepe. I like that. That was great. Thank you. This was fun. We had t we took an hour, a fucking oh hour my God, of our night so to bad. set this up. How are right? people to get watching everything this? out there? All right, to co to get everybody together and get our stuff there. And one guy this who's angry and wants to troll on the screen, screen, uh, screen <laughs> rams you. us and it just maybe kills a little raise. Jay, he's doing good tonight. Setup. <laughs> That's not just not fun. It's infuriating. I mean, apparently, my goodness, you're all in a, you're, <laughs> you're in a ruckus. You're in a ruckus, Morph. You're in a ruckus, man. Get mad. It's infuriating. Infuriating. I am mad. Extremely uh -oh. mad. Uh-oh. Morph this madness. This is stupid. Oh. <sighs> I'm not I'm not even really mad at CIG for not knowing that people were going to do this. I mean there are only so many QA testers, there are only so many people that can do it, and and the SFX guys did a great job on the explosions. Like they look amazing, they sound amazing, it's super cool that we have them. 
But now that we know this is a thing and it's been going on for this long. Hold on, hold on. Is his numbers going down or something? Uh, you know, like, is there any reaction to this in his actual data? Let's let's look. I got to look. I got to look here. Now I'm super curious here. Uh, any but no, nope. we just gained another thousand subscribers. Uh on the 31st apparently apparently people are in the majority yeah we are in the minority by the way guys like as we can see here it reflected in morphologist's numbers that everybody here on dg360 that has these views and opinions well we're dumb first off let's just i'm sorry everybody we are the minority and we are stupid and apparently there's nobody <laughs> he's he's only gaining subscribers just gained another thousand the other day he just gained another thousand subscribers the other day so apparently people are completely fine with morphologists saying what he has to say and actually agree with morphologists if you can believe that that is insane man like that i think is insane that's insane long i'm really am i'm really upset they've not done something to fix this do you think it's orchestrated do you think he does this shit because he wants like I mean, it'd be brilliant if he did this just to orchestrate this so that he got more attention. You know what I mean? Oh my God, what did oh, Greasy man. do? I've been so busy. Are we good? <laughs> Ready? Okay. Awesome, Greasy. <sighs> hey everyone, it's Chris <laughs> Roberts from the 90s. I hope you guys are doing good. I just wanted to say Greasy Khaleesi is killing it. <laughs> this young man is doing a fantastic job. I am so proud of him. Make sure you like and subscribe. Unless you're a neckbeard. <laughs> Where are all my dragons? That was awesome. That was awesome. I, I, ho I Hopefully I can actually upload that to YouTube because I'm telling you right now, with the Crimea River, uh, it's probably going to be all like, you know, copyright strike. <laughs> okay, now here's Erad's view on this. I want to hear what Erad has to say here. Uh, let me move over. Let me move to this side here. Let's see what Erad has to say. Let's fix my screen over this way. Uh-huh. What's up, Kiss? How you doing, buddy? I I don't know, man. It isn't isn't it crazy though to me, Kiss, that that there's like no ramifications on his opinion, you know? Like there was like everybody seems to be fine with it. Like that's that's insane. Like cuz everybody I'm talking to is like I can't believe Morph just said that. You know, you know what I mean? And yet his numbers are going up. His numbers are going up. So I don't know. Maybe we should keep track of that. Let's talk about a situation we've all seen too often at Junk Town. You're controlling the outpost. A rival group comes in to challenge you and the battle starts. Everyone is having a great time here. until some random dude comes with an A2, drops a bomb and kills everyone for no other purpose than just killing everyone. Well, this is the issue that we'll be covering in today's video. Oh, I am really curious what Erad says to this. I'm really curious what Erad's going to say to this. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's The Eradicator, and in this video we will discuss the balancing issues caused by the A2 Hercules and especially it's a massive bomb that, uh, for example, you know, owners can drop pretty much uh, for free at this point. And God bless all of this, first off. Hold on a second. This is a bomber that drops bombs. Yes, sir! You're not gonna hit me! Yes! <laughs> I don't want that leaving. I don't want this leaving the game ever. This? This? Yes, sir! You're not gonna hit me! Yes! <laughs> Am I alone in that? I do not want to see this go. But let's see what Iran has to say. And cause chaos at will if they decide to do so, whether it's on a community organized race or in the middle of a yes, battle Kira. at jump down between two groups that they have nothing to do <laughs> with. Now, Chocolate. do not get me wrong, this video <laughs> is not about complaining about the existence of a mother of all bomb. Eddie I Murphy's think that genius. super weapons in a game is always something that brings value added gameplay. It's the big threat that you know exists, but that you wish never be on the receiving end. And <laughs> the possibility for you to obliterate <laughs> everything in your path. Yes, I mean, like, that's the thing about warfare. And that's the thing about PvP is that you could actually be killed at any moment in time. 
in an area uh, where there's a, a bomber. You know, you could be killed at any time doing anything in the game, really. And in a game that kind of like endorses danger that I'm very happy it does. Path and rebuild something from the ashes of your right. wrath, according to your design, is also something quite exciting. A lot of awesome games have, in fact, some sort of super weapons like StarCraft and the nuclear strikes and Star Wars. the Star Wars games have the Death Star, of course. And we could also think of perhaps the Wonders of Age of Empires, which automatically gives its owners the victory if they survive the game for a given time. Of course, each of these super weapons are super costly and also come with some major drawbacks. Now, unfortunately, the same cannot be said with Star Citizen's mother of all bombs, unfortunately. Now, you see, the problem with the bombs is that their owners uh, actually get them automatically by default with their ships. Say, for example, they run out of ammo, and what are they going to do? Well, Good point. <laughs> they will certainly not go to Center Mass or uh, at Area 18 there. or New Babbage to buy some new warheads. No, 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 no. Instead, they, what we are going to do is they are going to claim their ships at an ASOP terminal, pay for the expedite fee, maybe, and do it again because it's fun and there are no consequences other than a rude reputation with the players they grift. To counter that, I propose a radical solution that I believe could even make the game more interesting. I believe that all ships should come by default with no warhead. No okay. missiles for light fighters, no torpedoes for ships like the okay, Vanguard Harbinger, the Eclipse, the Retaliator or the Gladiator, and yes, you guessed it, no mother of all bombs for the A2 Hercules. If Here's the thing. That that will help a little bit, but that's not really going to help much, right? I mean, truly the real way to uh, to either have this gameplay or not have this gameplay is based upon like security and how well the AI is going to react to a, a threat in a secure zone versus an unsecure zone, right? So like truly in game design, the way that you should take care of this is, hey, are you in an unsafe space? Tough titties, you got bombed. Like there's your answer, right? You're in an unsafe spot, you got bombed, you're in an unsafe spot, dummy, right? Then if morphologist called you a dummy in that circumstance, I'd be like, okay, all right, morphologist is correct on that. If I am in an unsafe zone and I get bombed, and I die, then I am a big dummy for thinking that I'm not going to get bombed because I am in an unsafe spot. Now, that makes sense to me, correct? But if you're in a safe spot, this should not be an issue, right? And a safe spot designated in Star Citizen and Stanton right now would make sure that all AI react appropriately to any particular type of threat, right? Which you're going to have to tweak the hell out of, and you're going to have to figure out a way to make it happen so that it's basically one in a thousand chance or one in a hundred chance at the, at the least, you know? Uh, so that is, uh, you know, but, but like, you know, this isn't a bad idea, you know, to, to kind of limit the fact that people are going to be, you know, tactile nukes traveling around the universe right off the bat. Perhaps this is something that I wouldn't be in disagreement to like as a PVP -er that loves this shit. It's like, okay, okay. Cuff me. Cuff me. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, right. I can deal with that shit. Like, I can deal with that. <laughs> they want to I have some. They that. would have to purchase them themselves. Right. And I also think that there should be some mechanisms to make an A2 owner think twice before unleashing the beast. In fact, if there is anything... Well, out those, those mechanics will eventually... See, this is the problem. Like, those mechanics will be death of a spaceman, right? But that's not really implemented the way that it's meant to be implemented which is hardcore hammer in the face. <laughs> like, there will be consequences. Death of a spaceman, game design. That's not in there. That's not in it yet. But that's really what's, what is a, another preventative measure. You know, so that's where I see the preventative measure happening. But the problem is, is we're not there yet. Right? Because alpha. <laughs> is showing it is that these bombs should right. not just be casually dropped, but should right. instead be brought to the... People need to be fucking patient. That's the real problem. People need to be fucking patient. If you rush this shit and, and everybody starts to virtue signal, because like when I watch this morphologist, it's, it's a whole bunch of virtue signaling to me. And, and <clears throat> you know, no offense against the guy. Like I said, he did some really cool things by standing up for, for the Eradicator. Uh, uh, when Star Atlas gave him a copyright strike that was, in my opinion, like way over the top that Star Atlas devs uh, and, and Michael Wagner, the CEO, 
copyright struck a channel with 2,500 subscribers, which is Erad's second channel. That was ridiculous. When when Morphologist came out and put that news out uh, within a week, the copyright strike was taken off. We're going to talk about that tomorrow, which is awesome. So, you know, props, props to Morphologist for that. But when I see rants and tantrums like I've been watching tonight here, first off, it's just a real downer. Secondly, it just makes me think that, like, maybe maybe people just don't understand game development. You know, like, if you start to rush everything for now in the alpha forum, you're going to ruin the fucking game. If everybody starts to virtue signal and everybody says, oh, no, there's no, 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 no. And, and they, they're, the, one, they don't understand it. They don't understand game development because really down the road, what's going to happen is death of a spaceman will hit like a hammer and it will hit hard, but it's going to take time. So people actually do need to be patient to let that happen naturally, to let that occur naturally in the process of this journey that we're on. But, but people are just going to get upset because they don't want that gameplay experience now, right? <laughs> Fingers is like, don't, don't you dare politicize it. Don't you dare politicize it or I go. <laughs> Battlefield because of an eventual strategic value, something that they do not have right, right now. Right, Kida, right, dude. And so, given their destructive power in order to give them a strategic value, CIG need to make the price of these bombs prohibitive. <laughs> We're talking about potentially perhaps a price tag per unit of several million Alpha UEC. <laughs> Make these bombs purchasable yeah, for only, tonight, buddy. and this costly, and you will see that people will start thinking twice before dropping them. We'll so, yeah, he's saying basically raise prices artificially. I think we talked about that last week. I think he got that idea from me as well. And, you know, that's not that's not my favorite answer either. So, like, that's really not my favorite answer. We were just br we were kind of spitballing that last week. We were talking about this before the morph thing even happened. We were talking about this. That's how relevant we are. We and then like look look what happens. We're talking about this shit way before the morphologist incident, and we're talking about like ways that you know we can curb it a little bit. And I think we were talking about artificial price inflation. You know, like have have Cod Imperium bump up the Moab a little bit in price. So you know, uh, take away things. We were actually talking about this. Did Erad literally take all my ideas, Pepe? Did Erad literally take all my ideas from last week's stream and put it <laughs> that that okay? That's a copyright strike, Erad. <laughs> yes, stop. You're not gonna hate me. Yes. <laughs> remind me to copyright strike this video, Pepe. 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 Remind me. <laughs> remind me to. I'm copywriting this. <laughs> I'm just teasing Erad. I'm just teasing, bro. All right. So that was Erad. So let's 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 move me back over here, Pepe. If you can, please. Not not way over. That's way too far. Nope. That's over to the right. What? No. Ah. 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 ah, 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 ah. Right there, right there, Pepe. Right there is where we want. Jesus, Pepe. Whew. Oh man, that hurt. That hurt. Okay, what's what's on the agenda for this more fest? I said we we saw zero state. Okay. Now who do we have? Ark, our friend Ark. Let's see what he has to say. Tell me what about this was fun. We, had, we took an hour, a fucking hour of our night to set this up. Easy and one more. guy who's angry and wants- <laughs> Easy, Mark. <laughs> this is shit. Wants to troll on the screen and it just kills all of that. Well, no, no offense against Morph. Again, like I know I've said this about a billion times because <laughs> I, I really am not trying to be an asshole here. But that, that doesn't sound like the kind of anger that I get scared about. <laughs> <laughs> setup that's not just not fun it's infuriating oh it's infuriating i am mad extremely on, mad i gotta go back over here again okay. this is stupid <laughs> there's other things you can do and this is why i'm wary about um nerfing things and asking for nerfs and stuff when you can actually completely override it with good tactics comms and contingency planning and that is what we should be thinking about now look ah! the, the game is an alpha and at the moment let's be honest we're still getting our bearings yes. on how to deal with things yes patience god damn it arc you're so fucking rational right now you crazy neon lit skeleton you fucking love this dude
the meta is still evolving we're still finding ways to do things right and some people have got it right. down sooner than others perhaps arc understands i would say how we operate in our jump town operations we operate with the fact that if we've got critical infrastructure there and there's an a2 uh, inbound a hercules inbound and we can't deal with it we're already ready to get out of there and that could be in a couple ways Big boy pants. Art's got the big boy pants, man. Yeah, a, a very rational. Very rational. That can be in the in the respect that if there's any people outside, they run into jump town. You can't tell me it's not possible to get in there because it is. With yeah, good Andrew, perimeter. you missed the conversation. Uh, we were talking about inbound, that earlier. Inbound. We've got a possible suicide run. Everybody get inside. Boom! Everybody's running inside. To be honest, after the A2 inbound. Uh, people should already be kind of making making moves to get inside. That is just something we deal with at the moment, and we deal with it effectively. It's not an issue for us, right? And because they the know other what they're getting is, into. We always because they know what they're getting into. Again, again, I think Morph just. I don't know, man. I wonder if Morph just like the the thing that's sick to me is if Morph actually like orchestrated all this for more attention. Literally, we just saw his numbers went up from all this, and it's crazy because the, the what I'm hearing is a lot of a backlash, which is good. I'm happy for it. I'm happy for the backlash uh, against Morph's opinions, right? Very happy for it. I, I think it's incredible or incredibly stupid, really, to call people stupid if they disagree with you. I don't think that's the way you have a, a civilized adult discussion or debate. You don't call people stupid for disagreeing with you, right? You have, you have an adult conversation and you figure out what the differences are and you try and come up with a compromise of sorts. I mean, if you're an adult, <laughs> it's what you do, man. It's just, it's insane. Always have a pilot in the cargo seat of the ship because it might not be an A2 bombing run. It might be anything else. Something sneaks up on us and Eclipse, um, Eclipse coming in right. That guy's gonna get out of there. He's gonna scramble. Air support will say, um, cargo, bell, 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 get out of there. Right. And he will not, he's he's waiting. He's watching, he's waiting, and that's his job. And that's his. Because some people like playing this way, like Ark and myself, and Erad. And, e and there's a lot of people that understand this, that, that you are in an unsafe area and that you have to prepare. This is part that, that some people like this gameplay. I don't know why it's so hard to wrap your mind around that. People actually like to plan ahead for this stuff. There are people solely out there, master of arms, like a position, like a master of arms position, knowing the correct weapon for the right job or, or, or the right weapon for the for the job, right? It's like, a, like some people make their career out of this shit and it's fun for people. This is a style of gameplay that people actually like to prepare for all the chaos that might happen out there. It's really what makes the game fun. Thank you, Anarchy. God bless, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Critical job for the cargo pilot to do. And he's out. And maybe air support will basically fly alongside, escort him to where he needs to be. But I feel like this whole request for uh, some sort of nerfing on, on things is just a little bit um, overreactive. Yes. When I feel like it, there are very, very simple ways to completely mitigate Yes. A, um, yes. A, 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 an, an A2 suicide bomb run. Um, yeah, it's it's a little bit um, edgy. Um, it's yes, probably Grim. not done in we the best of We talked about faith, that as well. Yes. But it is a valid tactic. And when it comes to fun, I think the argument about fun is um, completely, completely um, debatable. The, it's, it's, for the main yeah. respect that I like actually evading somebody's um, that the, 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 they, they've really put all their eggs in one basket and they're doing a suicide run. And when that fails and nothing really results of it, that is a there's a bit of a dopamine. Yeah, there's a bit of a dopamine rush. All all of this is perception is subjective, right? Like what things we're talking about right now are, are, are very subjective. Like what is what is your idea of fun? You know, uh, one person's idea of fun is is different than another person's uh, fun. And in game development, as Cloud Imperium, they're going to have to find a way to weave this all together. And again, it's through game mechanics. It's it's through uh, core game mechanics like security that you're going to see. Once they become evolved and implemented, you're going to see uh, this be curbed off a little bit. Death of a Spaceman, when it hits, 
also going to curb this kind of thing that we're seeing here. So there's a lot of things planned on its way. But again, patience. And like Grimm and, and Ender are bringing up really good points, but these are all points we talked about literally like a half an hour ago. I wish they were on the show earlier because <laughs> like everything you guys are talking about right now is so on point. We were literally just talking about all this, like exactly the way you two are coming in right now, like talking about this. It's exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> I mean, for, for the boys, like, yeah, we, we effectively and flexibly reacted in a dynamic way to a massive threat and um, it was a busted flush <laughs> so as far as i'm nick, concerned i like that nick that's do a funny we really comment, need bro. a nerf here no no like again if you want to do anything and you want to seriously go after this and take morphologists seriously i don't know why you would but say developers want to go after this and say oh well morphologists said it so we should really nerf it that's scary that could be a reality i don't know i hope not but let's say that they go ahead with this line of thinking, okay? Then they better test it. They better do Camerol type testings. And what, what, Camerol is a content creator that does Star Citizen testing on ships. And he's a German dude. He does some of the best content I've ever seen in terms of the amount of hit points, DPS, shield holes, all this stuff. In fact, he brought up shield holes. And the reason why we got the tech, the shield tech that we do, uh, sign distance field SDF tech is because I think Camryo was so out there and voiced his opinion on all the shield holes that were unacceptable on the designs that were coming through uh, from SIG with the ships that were coming across and they came out new and you're buying $200 ships with holes all over them. Camryo was doing tons of testing on these ships. So if you go after the A2 and you truly want to nerf it, then you better fucking test it like Camerol does and hit it with everything it's got. And like I said, the only time you should ever nerf it is if you've got multiple DPS points coming in and it's so crazy the amount of DPS and this thing isn't blown up, then maybe look at it. But that's the only way I'd look at it. That's the only way I'd touch it. Otherwise, leave it the fuck alone, you know? Good video by Ark. Good video by Ark. Let's see what else we got here. Um... Oh, Avenger 1. Okay, so this is a video. <laughs> Greasy's on the case again. Gre you can tell Greasy <laughs> Greasy got a fire lit under his butt, man. When Morphologist did this shit, Greasy's like, I got content to make. Greasy's got one more here, and it looks like he's done an Avenger 1 interview on the A2 drama that Morphologist has brought to the center of the stage here. Let's see. <laughs> In times like this, we turn to one man for true motivation and wisdom. He invented the corkscrew. He has mastered flight. He pushes like no other. He is the 1%. The man, the myth, the legend. The top pilot that needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Avenger underscore underscore one. That's two underscores, but one Chad. First of all, thanks for coming, A1. It's a great honor. Um, first question, how does one counter an A2? Morphologist claims it is impossible. Is that true? That's easy, Greasy. In order to counter an A2, well, you just need two A1. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, just so you guys know, this is not Avenger 1. <laughs> That's right. Two Avenger 1s are all you need to take out the mighty A2. I've done it many times. Double <laughs> trouble, baby. <laughs> So is it true that you will be featured in the patch 318 in order to counter the A2? Absolutely. Yes, uh-huh. I will be featured in the game soon, and I'm just finishing up on some <laughs> final mocap corkscrews. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see. So let's think about this more deeply. A1 plus A1 equals a2 oh and do you have any final thoughts absolutely and the other day i was just reading aztec warrior poetry at the river <laughs> and i wanted to share some inspiration uh. no quotes with your viewers Oh, I'm terribly sorry, but we are all out of time. Uh, thank you for coming, and uh, have a good day. Oh, man. I've been so busy. Are we good? Ready? Okay. Hey, everyone. 
It's Chris Roberts from the 90s. I hope you guys are doing good. I just wanted to say Greasy Khaleesi is killing it. Okay, yeah, that's great. I like it. I like what he's doing. Greasy Khaleesi's up to his production value. Go over there and subscribe to him. That's that's funny. Um, I'm gonna like a couple of these videos. Definitely Ark's video. Let's see what's next. Let's see what let's see what's next. Uh, I don't know who this gentleman is. His name is Marcus Wynn. One point three thousand subscribers, and uh, he wants to chime in on what's going on here too. Man, <sighs> I am glad. I am super extremely happy to see so many people standing up and saying no to this. Like that, that really makes me feel good. Like really, really feel good. Yeah, I need an stop. amen. You're not gonna amen. Yeah, I, yeah. When I put this highlight out onto YouTube, I'm gonna credit every single person like I always do. And I want you guys to go to these channels and subscribe. It's really nice to see the community step up and voice out. Like it, it really is pretty solid, you know? What's up, shoot? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the fam, man. Yeah, I, I this is cool because I've never seen this dude. He looks serious business. He looks serious business. Let's see what he's got to say. Hello, I'm your host. And today we are taking a look at Morphologist VOD on Twitch, in which he was complaining about the A2. I'm not big for long introductions. Let's just get right into this thing. Here he comes at this point because I'm a Centurion. I have no idea it's an A2. Now I know it's an A2. People have alerted me that it's an A2. Okay, first of all, you can't have the realistic expectation to take down A2 with a Centurion. That's essentially never going to work unless he has no shields. Even then, the A2, the A2 has a lot of HP. It's going to be a while before you shoot that thing down. And I don't see anybody else in the sky shooting this A2. Nobody else you is having shooting that him. expectation is kind of stupid. He's coming in. <laughs> you got our guys on the ground. Everyone's trying to shoot him. He's coming up pretty much full speed. Point blank, drops the bomb, and suicide runs. You can't call it a suicide run because it, it appeared that he was trying to get away. From what I was seeing there, it appeared that he was trying to drop the bomb really quick and get away. What probably happened is he didn't have enough boost to get back over that mountain. He didn't have enough thrust on his bottom lifters to get back over that mountain. So really, from my perspective, it was a poor bombing run by the A2. I'm not the best at making bombing runs with the A2. It's one of my favorite ships in the game, but I can admit I'm not the best at it. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't get like I don't get salty at shit like this. Because I understand <laughs> what Jump Town is, especially after they've increased the server capacity. Let's continue. Let's see what else he's talking about. Are you, you, you see what the man said? Do you see what the man said? Exactly what we were talking about at the very beginning of all this mess. What is this guy's name? I like this dude. I'm gonna to subscribe to him. What is this dude? I like this dude. Marcus. Marcus Wynn. All right, Marcus. You're speaking sense to me, bro. I like that. And I'm going to like the video, too. I like I like this. You can catch that. Don't worry. It's going to play again. And you said he's suicide bombed. And I still see, like, everybody in your party alive here. So, like, I don't understand, like, <laughs> what the issue here is. Are you mad that the drugs were destroyed? Is that is that the problem? Were some ships destroyed? Is that the problem? Because that's the, the entire point of this, in, this, sure, of sure this jump town event. The point is chaos. He came in, he caused a little chaos. Hey, I come in with my E2 at jump town, cause a little bit of chaos. Give him some love. Too, you know what I mean? Head so, on over there. Again. I see Push the like button, subscribe, tell him DG sent you. You can attempt to call it a suicide run if you want, but for like me, a suicide run in, in a game is when you're taking a vehicle and you have no intention of trying to get away. If he was trying to suicide, he would have dropped the bomb, right? And he would have crashed his ship directly into where the players were. But it looked like he was trying to get away, like I said. But uh, let's keep going. Here he comes again. Same clip. All right, so here's the thing. The A2 is not fun. This bombing shit is not fun. I don't care what people are saying on Twitter about all these stupid ass counters that they think work. When this can happen, there's no counter to it. All you got- There is a counter there, to it. Bring a fully crude hammerhead. You'll melt an a Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Like, you know what's sad? This is, this is actually what's kind of sad to me. I feel bad for this dude because he's only got 1.4 thousand subscribers and he's speaking so much sense right now. And Morphologist has 200,000 subscribers and gaining. And this guy could give a shit about viewers and subscribers or any of that. I just feel this vibe from this dude. And I don't feel this vibe from, from this dude, right? And I'm looking at these two dudes and I'm thinking to myself like, why doesn't this dude over here have more subscribers than this dude right here? Like, I don't understand that. I don't get how that works. 
Day two, quickly, bring a fully crude hammerhead. In fact, bring a fully crude hammerhead with ballistics. You will melt in A2. Even though the ballistics do fire a little Time. bit slower, right? But if you're in range and you have good gunners on that A2 with ballistics, you're going to melt in A2. It, it's not going to stand a chance. I remember there was a, a, a session that I was playing and I tried to fuck around with a, uh, I tried to fuck around with my, uh, with my A2 and there's some hammerheads around and I ran away pretty quickly because I realized that there was no way that I was going to do anything right exactly especially by exactly. myself and it looked like this guy was a solo pilot you know it wasn't me you know I wish it wasn't me right because I I do I love coming to jump town just causing chaos I don't care about getting drugs right. I don't care about making money at jump town I just go to jump town that's it and this guy is apparently you know Salty, over salty about a PvP game. Like, come on, dude. You, you gotta do better than that, bro. This is this is not a good look. But let's let's get on to his reasoning. Let's let's try to give him the benefit of the doubt and let's see what his reasoning is. And yet Morphologist is. continues to gain subscribers. And because of how much health the A2 has, there's no way you're going to kill it. You have to be in front of it with a torpedo and hope to god your fucking torpedo hits. You don't need a torpedo. Torpedoes are not always the answer. You can get a fully crude hammerhead, have it around jump town, have it parked over jump town, and anybody that tries to come in, they're gonna see a hammerhead and they're gonna be like, oh fuck, that's the counter. Like, I don't understand what the issue is. Like, why are you, why? Are yeah, he, he, yeah, Morph makes really good videos. He edits videos very d well. And you're right. It, like, in terms of like actual design and look of the art, yes, I do agree with that, right? Um, not so much the gameplay, not so much the gameplay, you know, but like, I get worried cause like, I feel like he overextends because of, because of the amount of people that he has. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Us. <laughs> yeah. Woo. What's he coming in like a boss? Thank you. Wooks. Thank you. Thank you. Wooks. man. You came in and. Bam! Into my face. <laughs> my face. Thank Are you, you so Wooks. adamant and complaining about this? You know what I mean? If if this if this is so <laughs> bad for you, and I mean no disrespect when I say this, morphologist, stick to doing your architect review videos. Stick I agree. To the PVE stuff. I Don't do come agree. around PVP complaining that you know people are using shit yes. for their intended role. Yes. The intended yes. role for the A2 is to bomb ground targets. Yeah. Is, right now, there are no gameplay loops for the A2. Do you understand that? The only way that there is gameplay loops for the A2 is this specific event because this is the only time where you're going to find targets on the ground. So Scott, you're asking, right? You're, 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 seriously. you're essentially saying that this fucking love this guy, man. In this this is like the most right super now. rational only role, fucking right? conversation not ever. Only role, Out of I mean, all these videos, honest, this guy's I, like I speaking the most truth. My, this guy's like a, a truth mining, Moab. Ground mining vehicles around to do mining. Other than that, it's primary role. I have no gameplay loops for that. So jump town is the only opportunity where I get to practice bombing runs against live targets. Okay, until they get more NPCs running around on the ground and we have more bad guy missions where the, where the bad guys are outside, this is the only gameplay loop. This is it. Not to mention that you have to make Put sure- Put that in there look, uh, in the look at this DG huge. area. No shit. Planets are fucking huge. No Excuse shit. my language, but I want to be clear about this. Look, well, Street. They can come from we'll watch any tomorrow, bro. direction. And you only have maybe a couple, a handful of eclipses. Dude, I What's love this dude. What's the chance you're going He's like, to no be shit. looking the right direction? That's why you bring a hammerhead. You bring a multi-crew ship. There's a video on my channel in which uh, I was with a group. I joined up uh, randomly in the uh, in the game lobby. I said, hey, who needs a gunner for their ship? Oh, that's right. What's well, right? sorry, dude. This guy said, I do. Joined up with him on Discord. We're watching we go so much to, now. to jump town, right? We get with another organization and we say, you know what? Pretty much we'll patrol the skies. You guys will get the drugs. Give us half. Cool. We literally chased away everyone that was trying to come. Very to clever. Us. And eventually we got shut down by a torpedo. There have been other times right. where I played jump town and which either a retaliator or a redeemer comes in with a size non torpedo he meant to say eclipse on yeah. the ground that's not the intended role play for either of those two ships but people still do it so are you saying that we should take away some of these gameplay loops for certain ships to appease your happiness in the game to make sure that you have a good time in the game because only you having a good time in the game matters is that what you're saying and be in front of the a2 before it does this it's just unreasonable to expect that you're going to stop an A2 that does this.
You can stop in A2. I've been stopped in my A2. I've stopped other people in A2. Yes. In a fully crude, yes. uh, in a fully yes. crude hammerhead. What's the issue? You can't sit up here and complain about something and then try to force an outcome based on your feelings. Because at the end of the day, it's just a game, bro. It's a game. Play it, don't play it. If it's so if it's so difficult for you, like I said, either stick to reviewing ships as an architect or don't play the game at all. Those are your two options, right? right? But don't get on here and start making videos talking right. about totally you should agree. stop something, right? If anything, you should get on here and be like, hey, CIG. Okay, so do... do. Dude, why don't you fix the elevator? Here, here's the thing. Do, do morphologists, fanboys get this at all? Like the actual debate that's happening here? You know, like I get, I get a little bit worried because I get so many people that are like, "Oh, DG, you're being so mean," or they'll they'll look at this uh, guy, and they'll say, "Oh, Marcus, you're being so mean. Why are you talking this way?" Right? And like, I think to myself, like, even if you're an ultimate fanboy, like if you're an ultimate morph uh, fanboy, doesn't this debate have validity to it? Like what Marcus is bringing up, the things we've been talking about here. Why are we stupid? <laughs> so low it's like it's like <clears throat> that's like the craziest statement i mean it's his, it's his opinion but like that's just that's like crazy to me that like even the the most ultimate morph fanboys can't look at this and 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 look at it rationally as an adult and say yeah i'm a pvp -er primarily right I would not want to push PvP on every single instance of the game, everywhere that the game there is to be had. I, I mean, I, I love it. <laughs> <clears throat> but I would not ever want to make every area in Star Citizen PvP. I would never push that agenda. I would never push that agenda. As much as I love PvP, right, I wouldn't push it in every single area. That would be pretentious that would be an asshole move right and i find it crazy that you know morphologist being primarily pve as we we can all see right here right pushing his agenda and his narrative and 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 making it so that everything has to be <laughs> safe you know or or you know like it, it just it just doesn't Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It's it's gross, man. It's on gross. the A two, so we're not. Going I don't know to the how people the ship, can't so we know when the rationalize from our things ship is coming down because there's nothing wrong and with agree this with event, Marcus right? on this. I think that CIG needs to make more simplistic events like this, right? You just have like a thing that's there, and everyone's fighting over it. That should be it. You know what I mean? I would even like them like them to see like another type of event where there is on uh, on a certain spot of a, of a moon like yes. Lyra or something like that where there's where nine tails take over a quantanium deposit and players have to go fight over the quantanium because it's it's they're they're high yielding rocks you know what I mean I would like to see shit like that in the game where it's just pure and utter chaos that's what I would like to see what it's I like, don't want to see is people getting on the internet I would never hurt you ship in the game. When the game already has so many things that need to be fixed, and you want an A2 to be stopped. When Look. it has no other roles in the game. God bless him. Look at Keto. And this is this is why I, I listen, I'm not making this a PvP versus PvE argument whatsoever. You know, like both game styles can exist and in, in, in co can coexist. And have a great time playing an MMO, right? Like, Kita says, I'm a PvEer and I want to be terrified going in certain areas. Like, poopy pants fear zones. <laughs> you watch out for those poopy pants fear zones. <laughs> watch out. It's getting stinky up in here. <laughs> Dang, there are no other gameplay loops for this one particular ship. But Good to see you, Donnie. That it suicide bombed, but it killed nobody. I don't even think the bomb killed anybody. I think just a couple of ships were blown up, at least in his party, right? Because I can still see everyone in his party still I love alive, you too, Keto. So I don't understand. What Listen, Donnie, Donnie, I know because you work at Cloud Imperium. I know you work there, and you, we, we appreciate when you stop by. And Donnie, this is a great time to stop by and just say, please, please don't listen to morphologists. We're begging you. We, we we don't want what morphologist is, is trying to do <laughs> please when we when we heard morphologist this is how we felt we don't want to feel that way we want to feel this way 
Well, he's trying to say the A2 needs to be nerfed. <laughs> and the bomb. And everything associated with what we saw here, which he's saying is a suicide bombing run. But it's probably a dude who wasn't paying attention, and his wife told him to put down uh, the toilet seat. And by the time he got back, he had to pull up, and it was too late, and he rammed right into the wall. <laughs> uh, it's a bomb, right. And it's Jump Town, right. Perfect music for this. What's up, Chuka? Welcome to the fam. Perfect music to this. I feel like I feel like we're going in the right direction now with the Donnie's here. Thank God Donnie's here. And thank God for that response. I just, Donnie, God bless you. Hold on a second. I'm going to applause that. <laughs> thank you, Donnie. I was getting worried, man, because, you know, like Morphologist has 200,000 subscribers. I don't want devs thinking, oh, well, boy, you know, what Morphologist is saying is the Bible is, the, you know, so like it's nice to hear Donnie say that. Thank you, God, Donnie. That applause is just for you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, shoot, for gifting him. Thank you, shoot, for gifting Donnie. <laughs> that was perfect. What's up, workhorse? Grab your chicken soup, bro. Welcome to the stream, man. We're having fun here discussing this A2 drama. And I, I have to say, I, I absolutely love this dude. And his like he's very rational. His name's Marcus Wynn. And I, right now, everything that he's talked about, and it, it's it's a great format. Like Fingers was saying here in chat, like I love the format. He's got some chill music. He's he's taking talking points and he's busting them down and giving like an opposing view. And it's very rational. It's very adult. It's very unlike what Morph's doing over here, which I think is kind of like a, a it's it's almost like a tantrum in a weird way. Uh, but let's keep watching. Literally makes no sense. Let's continue. Because you can't. Those people are dumb. They are dumb That's because crazy. they don't know That's... that this can happen. They're Even though dumb. I've been, tr I, I said very clearly in my post, look, you can suicide bomb. Dude, you're not even hitting the ship. I'm looking at this right <laughs> now. All of his shots are missing. So not only are you complaining, you're not even hitting the ship. You are getting no hits on your pip. Like it's not even, I saw like one green pip. You're missing every single shot and you're complaining. You're missing all your shots, yet you're complaining. Say that again for a third time. You're missing all of your shots and you are complaining. I ain't seen one green pit pop up maybe like once and it looks like he might be out of range i'm with the a2 and there's nothing you can do about it and they just completely ignored that comment if someone wants to ruin your day see his 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 his, his major mistake here when he was trying to shoot his a2 was he was using lead pit right when it's when it's pvp right it's better to use lag pit it's much better to use lag pit because you're going to see where your shots land versus that lead pit which is going to lead you and it's not always going to be accurate the lag pit is so much more accurate and so since I've switched to that, it's made my combat like that much better, right? And that's a, an improvement that I'll take. You know what I mean? So he's complaining about something, not hitting his shots. It's just, it's just morphologist is not a PVP -er. or if, if, if he's trying to better himself in terms of that type of gameplay, good for him. You know, like if morphologist wants to get more involved in PVP, awesome. I mean, like, I don't want to turn him away from PVP. Like, I want him to learn about PVP, you know? Like, these types of setbacks right here are what we call learning experiences in the PVP world. These types of setbacks right here where we're watching teach us, like, how to navigate dangerous areas in Star Citizen. These these things that happen right here that morphologists are, are, are upset about, it's like, it, it, it reminds me of, like, somebody who's very noob, coming to PvP who just gets pissed off because, you know, it didn't go his way. And there's a lesson to be learned in that. And and some of us love that style of gameplay. Some of us actually enjoy that. Dying and learning by dying and then coming back, trying something different, seeing the smallest amount of progress that we make in PvP. The smallest amount, whether it's you weren't hitting targets before, like Marcus is talking about, and you're do you're using the live pip, and now you're seeing that you're hitting targets now. Just like a small little step forward, what Marcus is talking about, that is a huge step for us. 
To other people, it aggravates and frustrates. To us, it what it's why we play the game. It's why we thrive at PvP because we want to learn. We want to die over and over and over and over and over again to become better so that we don't die over and over and over and over again. And then once you gain that knowledge and you actually put it to use, it's fun <laughs> and it's adrenaline and it's what PvPers like. It's what we like. His friends didn't die. So what's your argument here? That somebody ruined your fun? That you couldn't go and make your perfect video and the outcome is exactly as you But I guess we're it dumb. In your mind? This is Star Citizen. Nothing goes according to the plan in this game. And that's just something I've come to accept in Star Citizen. That's just how it is. Nothing's going to go to Big boy according pants. to the plan. In fact, it's probably going to be very bad. But that's the game. It's you how you learn in life. You can't have an event like this and not have a degree of risk Listen, involved. There's a degree of it's risk. It's also how you learn in life. <laughs> This is a life skill. And perhaps some people are approaching it from a standpoint of like, well, this is a game that I don't want to take that effort into because it's a game, right? I've heard that argument a lot. Well, f like, I okay, don't water down everybody else's experience because you want it just to be a, a game you can relax to, right? Because some people want the adrenaline rush from it and don't want to relax to it. Some people are hyped up to go in and love that adrenaline rush and love that fun and love that energy that it brings, right? The, the anticipation before a fight, the planning, the strategics, what ships am I going to need? What loadout am I going to need, right? These are all fun things to do tactically speaking, People like the tactics. People like the strategics. It's like a chess game. It's it's literally like chess. Risk, okay? You're, 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 right, the, the chaos, the, the unexpected, right, fingers. right now is to steal drugs. You're taking drugs. Other people want the same drugs, right? That's the mission, and it's a free-for-all. There, no, there are no sides. There are no lines drawn in the sand. Right. There's none of that. It's just pure and utter chaos. It's pure I don't, I don't, you versus the elements. And other people, right? It's the ultimate player versus environment. It's PVEP. <laughs> it's player versus environment and players. That environment smacking you in the face with the beauty and the fidelity. And then the players come in and you're like, oh shit, how am I going to prepare? What, what's going on here? What do I need to do? How do I need to plan? Do I need a, do, do I need a squad or people flying above? Like we watched here again. I'm going to show this again. Here's Zero State. Here's how he takes care of it. Okay, we're gonna show you how Zero State takes care of the A2 in the Moab. This guy looks like it'll be easy to get his bomb. Yep, on it. Got him. Done. As as Again, there's your example. There's your example of how to take care of it. That's how you do it, Morph. That's professional. I don't get what your complaint here is, and I think it's unwarranted. This is what they gotta do. There, this, this is the I win button right now. There's nothing you can do to stop this. <laughs> there is no, he didn't win anything. He's dead. His character is dead and his ship is destroyed, okay? The A2 has a 42 minute respawn time. With expediting, <laughs> with expediting, you have to wait 13 minutes to get it instantly expedited. It's a long time. Depending on where his spawn point is, okay? It's gonna take him at least 15 to 20 minutes to get back there. So who really won? You're still there, obviously. Your friends are still alive. What are you complaining about? If anything, we would've just been laughing at that guy. The guys that I rolled with in Star Citizen, we would've just been laughing. We would've, we would've been just like, yep. oh, look at this dumbass in his A2. I'm not saying no one else died in the game. That's not what I'm insinuating here, right? I'm not insinuating that his bomb wasn't effective on players that are not in his party, right? But in any case, we know what you're saying, Marcus. We know what you're saying. There, there what is you're nothing saying. That, that specifically tells this guy that's flying the A2 that he has to do <laughs> the mission the right way. There's nothing. Get Sorry. steamy up Unless in here, you have like a fleet of 20 people <laughs> and they're all in eclipses that. and God. You don't need that. One or two fully crewed hammerheads will prevent most A2s from trying to fly at you, right? Because even with a fully crewed A2 versus a fully crewed hammerhead, the hammerhead's gonna win every time unless that hammerhead crew is incompetent. So I don't want to hear it, bro. Your your claims and what you're saying is completely unwarranted. God forbid somebody brings fighters and kills false. you all. It's this is gonna false. happen. You cannot stop this from happening. You can't stop it from happening. <laughs> hold on a second hold on a second claims and what you're saying is completely unwarranted god forbid somebody i think i know what time it is here 
Sorry, I'm cracking myself up right now. Sorry. I'm sorry. That was for me. I'm sorry. I do apologize. That was for me. That was strictly for me. I took a selfish moment, everybody, and I just had to do that for myself. And that was a slow mo time brought to you by my own brain. And usually, you guys have to say slow mo time at DG. Slow mo time it. I had to tell myself. Like I, I literally just heard myself over and over again. And you know. <laughs> Head, bring a hammerhead, bulletproof. Even if you don't have the hammerhead, bulletproof. <laughs> even if the hammerhead is like ninety percent crew, you will <laughs> Thanks, still fingers. beat A two. Still morphologist. So stop complaining. Stop complaining. You, you, why are you crying so much? All right, you can fill the fucking server. Yeah, maybe that's the only way. So there are no more slots. You can fill the fucking server. That's Shut up. Why are you so salty about this? Why are you so mad about this? You sound dude. Weak I love right this dude. now, man. Your mind sounds weak. Period. What like? What are you gonna do? Do you want CIG to watch your video and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Like, I feel like this is, this is, okay. Is this a generational thing, man? Like, I would hate that this is a generational thing. I feel like this is like new school gamer versus old school gamer. And I got to slide over. Hold on a second. I just can't be on this side. I, Marcus, I'm sorry, dude. I got, I like, okay. I've got to, I've got to be on Marcus's side. <laughs> Gotta like I'm picking sides now. I I didn't want to do this. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to do this, man. Like I didn't want to do this. I'm trying to keep this as civil as I can. But Marcus is is truth bombing the shit out of this, right? Marcus is truth bombing this just sh straight to the point. Like boom, 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 boom. I love it. I love this dude. Maybe we should do something about this. Maybe we should nerf the A2, right? The only reason this guy is complaining is because he's on the receiving end. And he really wasn't on the receiving end because yeah. he didn't get blown up. He didn't die, right? But because he saw a bomb explode and a ship explode and it halted his operation. Right, Steeled, right, dude. Oh, fucking well. Get over it, right? Change your tactics. Find a new way. If you don't have people in the skies with a hammerhead when you're doing jump town, you're probably wrong. If you're not with anybody that has a hammerhead, you're probably wrong. This is this is the meta right now. And let me just make a caveat here. Do you honestly believe that when these capital class ships come out and you have events like Jump Town, do you not think people are gonna show up to these events with capital ships? Let's say somebody rolls in with an Idris and they do the same thing. They just <laughs> throw every ship on the ground, they kill everybody. Is he gonna then complain that we don't need capital ships? The capital ships are too strong. You know what I mean? It's a slippery slope that he's doing. You can't force outcome. The opportunity of jump out is to make money. You may not make any. You may make some. You may make a lot. You may I'm loving your process, comments right now. The They're on point, point of the event is chaos. That's it. You know how many times I've died playing Jump Town, dude? You know how many times I've played dying, or how many times I've died playing Jump Town? A lot. Yeah. We don't get mad. We just get even, bro. There right. have been times where a retaliator has come and blown up our ships time and time again. So we know what we did. We baited that retaliator and we, we you fucked him up. Right. We fucked that retaliator right. up. So don't right. sit here and tell me that there's no problem. Right. right. You just want to You just want to complain. And you want to try to establish this fake moral high ground, which there is none in this. It's case. virtue You're signaling. You're not the end all be all, dude. Not for somebody right. to do this. Right. And that's how he's coming off. You know, that's how Morph is coming off on all this. Like, very pretentious. You know, like, I... Like, I don't know if he's just, I think he's just having a bad day, man. Everybody's human. Everybody fucking makes mistakes, man. I just think he's he's just had something personal in his real life. Or, if it's not, if it's just the game, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. If he orchestrated this, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just, it's, 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 to me, it's a cry for help. <laughs> it's just a cry for help. Like, can we start a GoFundMe for more? I think that's the only way. You, for just more? you get 120 people no. in your party. No. I just don't understand the server, and then his all line of thinking. Happen, right? 
You no, can just... that's weak. That's weak. Why do you have to have everyone on, on your side? So you want to go in. This guy doesn't want any opposition. This guy can't have anybody going against him. What kind of mindset is that? It's weird. If anybody follows this guy, yeah. just listen to what he's saying with, right. an, with an objective and an, and an open mind. Yes, sir. You're not going to hate me. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to watch some more of Marcus's channel, man. He's saying he wants to fill a server with everyone in his party so that he can go to jump town and he can have a, a good safe time. This is the persistent universe. Safe is safe is not a thing. Everything is dangerous. Everything is it's gonna be messy. It's not gonna always be pretty. Sometimes you can lock down jump town for a couple of hours and make a you know make a couple of million, whatever. And then sometimes it's not gonna work. But you having the victory every single time is unwarranted. It's stupid. It's soft. It's weak. This is the kind of guy that <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh man <laughs> are you a big man huh i'm talking to you what you wake up in the morning you say i put on my big boy pants look i'm wearing a belt i got big boy pants on oh you put a little jacket you go you take your lunch because you got big boy pants on you got your big boy pants and your snack <laughs> that would be in the modern warfare 2 lobby and then go cry to xbox call up microsoft be like everyone in the lobby is so mean they're so <laughs> me. they keep hitting me with hitting me with nukes the nukes are too powerful take him out of the game that's what this guy is exactly what he sounds like he's soft and he's weak if you don't like it stick to whatever else you're doing stick to the other content that you make find other gameplay loop this is not the only one i got tired of playing jumps right Do you know what i did I didn't do you this. know what? He's absolutely right. This is not the only gameplay loop, right? Jump Town's purpose is to be a player-to-player -player interaction zone, man. PvP. Like, the purpose, I mean, yeah, there's missioning in it, but you know it's not a safe place. You know you, you know it. You've seen Jump Town. You've been to Jump Town. It's not a safe place, man. <laughs> you you kind of know what to expect. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> ah, lots of that. Lots of that happens at Jump Town, right? Dun, 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 dun. A lot of that's happening at Jump Town, okay? <laughs> Welcome to the fam, hero. The event. I got tired of playing Star Citizen. You know what I did? I didn't play it. I played something else. This is the solu this is this is the solution. There's no one forcing you to do this. You're doing this, complaining. You didn't die. You weren't harmed. Your party wasn't harmed. So what is the issue? They're all they're all alive. I, I see them all, all their icons right here. They're all alive. <laughs> Not Probably even you get dead. Hit with an A2 bomb, a size 10, and you get evaporated. From Thank the map. you, hero. You get Appreciate from the map. you. There's nothing left, but his guys are still right there. And he's complaining for what? If anything, he should be happy. Be like, hey, you guys good? Okay, good. Well, we don't have to worry about the A2 for at least another 15 minutes. So let's hustle up, get these, get these illegal drugs. See, that's what I feel like. That's what I feel like. I mean, that's that's just speculation, but I'm going on that too, limitless. Limitless says, well, the views are driving him to play it. I feel like that. I don't feel he's passionate about Star Citizen. That's really what it comes down to at the end of the day. That's why I don't watch Morphologist a lot. You know, like it's a sh it's it's all a dance and pony show. Like, I feel like it's just there to get him where he wants to go. Like, I don't feel like he's really, truly like in it, in it. I mean, that's at least on the surface. Right. So maybe that's a little unfair of me to say something like that. But I just get a real pretentious vibe. And, you know, from what I've seen, which hasn't been too much, I just feel like there's a lot of tantrums going on, um, a lot of instances where he believes he's always right and everybody else is wrong. And I don't like that kind of content, man. That shit does not go good with me. And so, like, even on the even on the architectural stuff, it's like, you know, I, I feel like even on the architectural videos, you know, they're great videos, but I, I just feel like the intent behind the videos are to get more views. Like, I don't feel like it's genuine. I don't feel like when I'm watching Morphologist, like it's a genuine, like it's genuine, like anything about it's genuine, you know, other than the, you know, the fact that his professional life, he's an architect and he's looking at architectural design uh, in, in a game. Like, okay, great. But like, even then, when I watch those videos, I think to myself, like, is he doing this because he's passionate about architecture and the game? Is he doing this strictly because he's he's uh, interested in architecture? Uh, is there any interest in Star Citizen? Or is this just like a, a click thing? Is this like a view thing? Is this like a let's get 
morphologist, more subscribers thing. Cause like a lot of times when I'm watching content, that's like so very well edited like his, sometimes there, there, there isn't that raw truth to it that I, that I really gravitate to. Uh, and you know, like the, like, I don't know what Marcus kind of, I don't know what kind of content Marcus gets into. Right. But I can already tell you that on this video here, I already like this better than a lot of morphologists videos because this is more my kind of speed. This is my style right here. It's, it's, it's raw. It's, it's not really edited a lot. It's just a dude who's dropping truth bombs and he's a gamer. And I feel like he's passionate about star citizen. Whereas like with morphologists, I got to say, I don't feel that way. You know, Donnie says you can see an A2 from extremely far away. Objectively, it allows you to prepare for the circumstances. JT was a designed as a PP. J Jumptown was designed as a PVP event based on a player created culture event during 3.4. I was involved with that back then. We created Jumptown 2 based on community request. Absolutely right. It was the first time the community got a glimpse as to what it feels like to engage in territorial conquest and control. Absolutely, Donnie. This event was to honor the promise to the community. We'd bring it back. Finally, it's a bomb. Right. Absolutely, Donnie. I, I, you know, this is great. Again, Donnie works at Cloud Imperium. It's nice to have somebody here who's involved. It's nice to get an opinion uh, uh, of somebody who works at Cloud Imperium. And it's exactly the whole reason was to create an area in a sandbox to organically bring in player to player interaction. Exactly what Donnie's saying. The history of Jumptown, right? What was designed here, right? Was all four people that actually said, yes, we want this, right? We got it in here. Obviously, there was a voice. They wanted it. They got it. And now we're hearing people like morphologists saying, oh, no, like this can't be. Like we can't have a, you know, you have to expect this to happen in areas like Jumptown. This is going to happen. It's it's get the hell out of here. That would be that would be my mindset. That would be the mindset of people that I play this game with. Right. This guy, he's soft and he's weak. Sorry, dude. I'm just calling how I see it. And if, if you want to talk to me about it, you can. If anybody disagrees with me, comment down below. I don't so have a discussion. About I don't disagree it. with them. This is this guy right here are the reasons that video games today suck. Guys yes. like this. Guys that want to force these outcomes. No offense. <laughs> Actually, it's probably really offensive to Morph, but listen, I will say this in Morph's defense again. Morphologist did a great video uncovering what Michael Wagner, the CEO of Star Atlas, did to my friend the Eradicator. He stood up to the Eradicator, or he stood up to Star Atlas. He stood up with his audience. He said, here's what's going on. Here's the unfair copyright strike they give to Erad on his second channel. They had 2,000 subscribers, and they gave Erad a copyright strike for, for expressing his opinions on Star Atlas, right? <laughs> Granted. <laughs> Erad doesn't know too much about blockchain. Doesn't know too much about uh play to win or or crypto or any of that, right? So Erad had a couple things in there that weren't necessarily correct, you know, technically speaking. But they were opinion, and Michael Wagner struck him down to to squelch him. It was a really shitty move. And then Morphologist did a video standing up for Erad. And put it out there. So, like, I, I applause that shit. I applause that shit. I said that in the highlight. I But I can't disagree with Marcus. I can't disagree with Marcus here. I can't I can't disagree with anything he's saying. Guys that want to make games easy. Guys that want to do, like, all this shit based on some stupid moral high ground that they think they have and they don't. He's why games suck. People like this. Him. Guys like this, they get on these platforms and they and they, and they try to make these grandiose statements and they're not saying anything. He didn't die. His friends didn't die. The A2 died. He didn't win anything. He didn't get away with the drugs. He didn't get anything. But yet he's still complaining. If you guys disagree, comment down below. Until next time, I've been your host. And There's no... Been awesome. I'll see you next time. It's like the boy who cried wolf, right? Morph is like the boy who cried wolf. He, he's like, oh, no, there's a wolf, and there's no wolf to, here to be seen. You know, there's there's literally no wolf here. But he's he's this isn't the first time he's done this. You know what I mean? Like, this is not the first time. There, he, he 2022 is not Morph's year. There won't be much progress or development happening on Morphologist's channel in 2022. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> I made a video.
Oh, Veritasium. I love that channel. All right. Let's see here. What else do we have? One more, guys. And then it looks like he, he made an apology. So we're going to watch that after this. One more video here. Let's check it out. And then there is a tweet from Morphologist. It's a long video. It's going to be a long highlight. I wanted to get into this. Oh, seven citizens, Black here from Castle Black Gaming, and today I wanted to dive into a subject that seems to have shaken things up this week, which is the Jump Town A2 bomb. I saw that one actually. That's a good one. Popular <laughs> Star Donnie. Citizen streamer. I love Veritas. Just on a Twitter tangent, and from what I've heard, also on a stream. Now, I'm not here to belittle the situation or provide adequate salt or fuel for either side. Oh, My video today on. is more about the larger issue that was mentioned in some of the replies from the tweets, that being popular streamers and their influence over game design changes. To me, the bombing tactic is not the truly important story here. Now, while I understand both sides, the side of thinking it's not fun gameplay, <laughs> going after a single person who can just drop in and destroy everything, that's subjective and also not a valid reason to try and use your influence for change. There are ways to prevent it through. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Casa Black, I'm going to like that. I highly recommend you guys seriously take the time to like all these videos. When this highlight hits, it's going to be a doozy. This highlight's going to be like an hour. I'm going to chapter it up. People have been asking me for this all week since the shit has happened. So I said, okay, guys, we're really going to delve into this. <laughs> we're really going to delve into this. And I will put this highlight down. By the way, DG360 is once again <laughs> shadow banned. I've seen it in the analytics. I've seen it time and time before. Yes, we are officially shadow banned. Can we get applause for that, Pepe? Don't know why. It just keeps happening. <laughs> so if you could like this video when this ships out to YouTube and do everything you guys can to help us because, you know, like we really need some help on the channel for some reason. Whew. It's been really crappy lately, but it's okay. It's okay. You know why? Because I'm not doing it for the views. I'm doing it because I'm actually interested in this. I like this. <laughs> I'm passionate about Star Citizen. I love it. That be through your org or server communication and whether someone thinks that having many people patrolling the skies to go out I, I and bombing threat is fun I did, or not dude. is not one influencer should be able to dictate. <laughs> this is a space sim and a war sim and in war, either side will exploit things until it doesn't work or is not worth the time or effort. Now, the one thing that hopefully comes from this is that CIG looks at its penalties for gamers trying to exploit things like this and not necessarily a ship or weapons nerf. This is a very specific incident for a very... No ship or weapons nerf is needed, only patience. Only patience, waiting for things to come online the way that they were intended to, like death of a spaceman, right? Like system security, these types of things. We just have to be patient and wait for this shit. You know, very specific gameplay loop. So why nerf the actual ship or damage when what would probably work best is adjusting cost of things such as the bombs themselves or to not auto spawn with bombs and make them something that has to be picked up if your ship is destroyed. Now, the cost alone should be better adjusted for the kind of havoc they can wreak and also perhaps better insurance claiming penalty so a player maybe who loses something as big as an A2 cannot come right back within 10 or 15 minutes with another one. Maybe after the first reclaim time, it goes up if the ship is blown up again within the first hour. We've seen similar respawn timers that increase in other games with PvP, so it's not something new here. But my message here is really not about the bomb tactic itself. I've said all I really care to say about that, but I really wanted to... It's about influencer overreach. I like I like the angle that he's taken on this. Drill down on the idea that larger content creators can misuse their influencing and why for a game like Star Citizen, it's bad and not really welcome here. Now, I'm a very small content creator with not much of a following, especially to have. Let's help this dude out. Let's help this dude out. He needs some help. I'm, I hope we can really boost these guys numbers that we've been watching tonight. Go there. Uh, like the video. Tell him DG sent you. Go subscribe to this guy. I'm going to subscribe to him. You know, like, this is what we got to start doing here. The only way we're going to see change happen in the YouTube community with influencers and people that, like, you know, you, you support the people that are rational. Support rational people. <laughs> I mean, obviously, the irrational ones out there, they're, they're pretty fun, too. 
So, <laughs> but like when it comes to like this game design and how important the project is to me, like I think it's very important that we start supporting people with rational mindsets. I have my own opinion other than some basic ship reviews and loadouts for beginning players. Now I certainly have not been following the game as long as most of the more established content creators here, but that doesn't mean that I'm a noob gamer scrub either. And the arguments we're seeing here are the same in almost any live service <laughs> game, <laughs> with the only major difference here being that Star Citizen is still an alpha and things will be changing a lot and the devs really look at some of our feedback here and pay attention to things, which is why whenever Morphologist threw out this tweet about how he did not find size 10 bombs dropped by the A too fun or engaging, it sent shockwaves through the community. The only thing I found to be thankful for with this incident is that people still. 82 likes. It's all about context, isn't it? If Morphologist paints the narrative that there's really no getting around this dreadful A2 bombing machine that is going to kill everybody and their parents and their dog too, and Virtue signals this type of shit, and, and everybody says, oh, well, yeah, it's Morphologist. Of course he knows what he's talking about, right? That's the thing that scares me. And the 82 people like that. And the 82 people really aren't aware of what's happening in Star Citizen development, right? And... It scares me to think that, you know, when you see those 82 likes, generally a person's going to look and go, oh, well, you know, this must be true. 82 people liked him. Morphologist is rather famous. He's, you know, internet famous. He's got a lot of people, 200,000 subscribers. You know, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. And, like, that's what scares me the most, man. And then you got these guys like Marcus and you got this guy right here. Uh, and, and they're speaking, like, truth. They're just speaking. <laughs> they're speaking because they're a gamer and they know what they're playing. And, uh, you know, you won't see anything be liked on their stuff. And it's just, it's just, it just, I think that makes me upset. I think that, I think we're going to have a tantrum now. It's just stupid. <laughs> Set up and disagree. Now, had that tweet not been challenged, would devs have nerfed something oh! without both sides? I always have a dance off with my former self. That was me back in the uh, 80s dancing. And uh, I don't think I won that one. I think uh, I think younger DG won that one. God damn it. I lost that dance battle. Thank you, Jamma. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for those biddies. I did. You like my hair? I was jamming out the hair. Right, Anarchy? <laughs> right. Be equally argued for. What about other incidents where a Star Citizen influencer might have mentioned something that led to a change in the game, whether that be something as small as a cosmetic design change or something related to DPS? Has this happened multiple times and we're not aware of it? Or do you see IG basically only make a large move on something like this if there are a lot more comments from both sides and it trends? It's hard to imagine that there is not a single case where something has been changed based off of something an influencer says. This is a very real issue and one that was even tackled by the Apple TV show Mythic Quest where a very young influencer pretty much had those game devs by we, the balls. And while you guys are talking about this, really I've not seen this yet. From the truth when you is, that mythic, is that Mythic Quest good? It's got the dude, uh, was that McElhaney? Was that dude from uh, It's Always Sunny? In Philadelphia, I heard that was really good. Mythic Quest, you guys digging that? I got to check that out. I don't have Apple Plus or Apple TV or whatever the fuck that is. I, I can't afford any more subscriptions, but I want to check that out. Good show. Consider okay, cool. things like last right, year's Steve. Final Thank Fantasy you, record breaking concurrency numbers after streamer and influencer Asmund Gold went from playing WoW to Final Fantasy 14, along with a couple of other popular streamers. Not only did Asmund Gold have some of his biggest numbers ever, but Final Fantasy reaped the benefits as well, which in the following months actually led to the Final Fantasy devs doing an interview with him and allowing him right, to man, check I... out new features. Oh, you don't have to. That's so nice. You don't do that, bro. It's okay. Endwalker. I got Brandon, a gift card from my sister. About two 
two way more popular I don't know how to connect the goddamn thing. Even still, this year we saw Ollie 43 and Level Cap Gaming help bring a lot more new citizens and along with them yep. funding into the game. And you can yep. clearly see a jump in numbers, yep. money, and interest. Yep. So we really cannot say that YouTube and Twitch influencing is not something that CIG does not take into account right. when they clearly benefit when influencers are playing their game. Right. Of course, there are many more examples of influencers, you know, influencing games across the spectrum. And I guess in the end, it's just going to come down to the trust for us players. We have to hope and trust that CIG <laughs> will do the right thing when it comes to their interactions with influencers and how they handle when things flare up on any given situation, as we've seen here this week. What changes will come from this? What It'll do you guys think in chat right now? And, and those that are still watching on YouTube this highlight, because I know it's going to be a long one, but for everybody watching still, what do you guys think down below? If you think influencers actually do have influence on, on game design and Cloud Imperium does change game design based upon what influencers say, put a one down there if you think that influencers do. Put a, put a two if you don't. I'm very curious what to what what you guys would say there. So we got finger says one. Interesting to see Lindless if anything one, is done one, at all. One, now one huge yeah. noticeable thing that many people underestimate yeah. is I, I, CIG's I future plans for things. Say now one. just a few months ago we didn't have the Anvil Centurion, which while it did not completely make A2's bombing we got some twos. in the past, we got collectively some twos in with there. other ships that may or may not. I like how you guys are putting in twos to spice it up a little bit. Kiss says uh, kisses says two and Nash says two. I, I, if you guys can elaborate a little bit, I'm, I'm curious why I mean, you think yet, no. They can help ease the situation and bring about a new way to combat strikes from above. With further ship revamps and new weapon types still to come, might CIG just be sitting on the sidelines laughing at both sides because they know something game-changing is on the horizon? Again, this can be why CIG has been silent on this or why they won't wait into the water <laughs> here as they shouldn't. The one thing I know from this argument and this huge influencer's opinion is that CIG has heard about it, is aware of it, and will make something happen. Will it be what makes morphologists happy, or will it be something that benefits the overall star citizen community as a whole? I myself hope for the latter because influencers come and go, but this game should be around for years to come, even if it's never fully released before many of us die. Now remember to be kind to your fellow gamer, keep things respectful. Oh, I like that. Gator says he's damaging the game by influencing his audience, not SIG. That's interesting. That's interesting. Even if your opponent takes the low road and stay positive citizens. All right, that was Casa Black. I'm going to put his uh, link down there too as well. Here, let me put his channel link in there. So you guys on live can can check that out. Go subscribe to him. We like to help out everybody here on the channel, especially those uh, with smaller subscriber counts. Casa has uh, three thousand. Um, let's see here. Hello, I'm. Um, Marcus has one point four. Greasy has one point three. So these are all people we're subscribing to. Uh, these are all wonderful, wonderful videos. Um, you know. I would just say <clears throat> if if morphologist is watching this, which most likely is not, but morph dude, listen. I hope this was like a an a, like I hope all of this kind of like opened your eyes a little bit. Seriously. I'm not trying to be a douche. I hope all this kind of opened your eyes a little bit. And I hope you do actually PvP more. And I hope you aren't turned off by PvP. In fact, I hope that this can be a constructive like event or learning event for you where you actually want to dive into learning PVP and you can see how you yourself can stop an A2. Um, and, and this is how you learn. And this is what is fun for some people. It might not be fun for you, but, uh, and, and I can definitely say this though, like it is not cool that, that you are telling people they are stupid if they don't agree with you. I'm sure I've said that a many a time though during a rant though, so I'm probably guilty of that myself. <laughs> but there, there was, there. <laughs> we already know there's a meme of me. There's a meme of, of me out there from uh, Hangry Sarah. We saw it. We saw it at the very beginning of this. We 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 love Sarah, and uh, she's poking fun at me for saying, "Look at that! Look at that! Would you look at that?" <laughs> it was funny. I liked it. Um, I think you need a little humility as as a um, as an influencer. I think you need uh, to be humble. And you need to be able to laugh at yourself. And I think this is one of those instances where, you know, uh, I just hope that he, he uses a learning experience. So let's see what how he is, you know, formulating a response here after all this drama. And Morphologist says, 
Um, I want to formally apologize to any and all people who felt personally attacked by my rant on my Monday Twitch stream. Okay. All right. While I still strongly disagree that the A2 Hercule bomber is fine. Wait. <laughs> Come on. He's he's putting that's not an apology. That's not <laughs> wait, wait, what, Pepe? Just keep reading. All right. All right. It's not an apology, though. <laughs> okay. While I still strongly disagree that the A2 Hercules bomber is fine and balanced, people on the other side are not stupid. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for clearing that one up, Morph. Thank you. I don't believe what he's telling me right here, by the way. I think he thinks that I'm still stupid, but that's okay. A lot of other people do too. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't have said so. I was emotional. And in the moment, I made a poor choice with my words. I do that all the time. I do that all the time. I should and can do better as a public figure, like a known person in the SC community. Nerf the, and he says nerf the A2 at the end. <sighs> Some people just can't be wrong. <laughs> this is This is like an apology that's not an apology. Like, you know what I mean? Some people just don't have that in them to say, you know what? Maybe I might be wrong. I, I've had I've had those moments during the stream here. I said, hey, maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong in thinking the way that I think. Maybe we're all wrong in thinking the way that we think, right? But I don't think so. 